Hi everyone, Happy New Year, and welcome to our first episode of Kid Stuff. Um, so today's topic is going to be about setting and achieving your New Year goals. So all my kids out there, Happy New Year. I'm going to show you how to set goals and then how you can help yourself achieve them. So the first thing when you create goals is you want to go into it knowing that there are two things that goals require to achieving them. One is hard work, right? There is nothing in life that will come without hard work or that will come with good meaning unless you put good effort into it. So make sure that we know that if we want to achieve our goals, it's going to require a lot of hard work. Second is it's also going to take time. So we want to know that change takes time. We set a goal and we think, oh, I'm going to achieve it so quickly. That's just not the reality of how change works. It takes time because it takes time to develop a habit and make something regular. So once we know these two things, that it's going to take hard work and change takes time, we can go ahead and start making our goals. First, step one for our goals is we want to think big, right? We want to think big. What does that look like? Open up to whatever you have a desire to achieve this year. So it could be that you want to become a stronger reader. It could be that you want to become a, a better basketball player. It could be that you want to be better at your sports. But you want to make sure you know what you want to achieve and why. So make sure that it's something meaningful to you because that also will motivate you more if it means and comes from within. Um, so make sure that you think big, okay? What and why. Step two is you want to break your big goal into smaller steps. So break big goal into smaller steps. I also want to give credit to um, WikiHow and NewsLA, which was, had this article about how to set goals. So I'm taking a lot of information from them and using it as my own um, in different ways, but they were so helpful. So I'll make sure to give credit to them in our YouTube channel area. But break the goal into smaller steps. So what does that mean? That means that if you want to become a stronger reader, you're not going to just all of a sudden read 40 books in one year and that's it. It helps to break it down. Maybe you're going to do five books at a time. So once you achieve five books, you can put a check, right? Um, and then once you achieve those small goals, then you're going to be like, wow, I can do it. I can achieve this. And then actually you should even reward yourself. That creates more motivation. Maybe once you read five books, you tell mom and dad, you tell aunt and uncle or whoever, grandma, grandpa. And then maybe they have a reward for you. Maybe you get to buy a new video game. Maybe you get to play video games for longer than usual. So think about what small steps you can do to achieve it and then what reward you can do after. But I think this really helps people achieve their goals so much more. Action step down. What does that look like? So an action plan means that you're going to have a timeline and a schedule. So when I think of a timeline and a schedule, I think of, again, if you're doing, say you're, you want to become a stronger reader. If you do five books, try to do it five books by spring break, five books by the summer. Um, because that way when you put a timeline on it, you're going to work harder for it within that time. So it'll be going at a pace that works for you. Just make sure it's realistic because if you say five books in a week, um, that's not realistic, especially with all the homework you guys get and how much you have to study at school every day. Um, make it where it's realistic. So you create a schedule and a timeline and then you want to think, is your goal going to cost you money? Maybe if you want to get books that you like, you might have to go and figure out, can you buy those books or where? But I would recommend take a look at libraries and schools, right? We have a bunch of books that you could check out 
that you don't have to spend your own money and you can still achieve that same goal. So try to be resourceful in your action plan. Also, once you have your action plan and you're working towards your goal, the next part that's important is accountability. Accountability means that there's somebody or yourself that's going to say, hey, are you achieving your goal? So what does that look like? You could have a partner that you're working with. It could be one of your best buds. It could be somebody who also wants to become a stronger reader. You could tell a family member. It could be mom and dad. It could be um, your grandma, grandpa, aunt and uncle, a cousin, whoever from your family, brother, sister. And then you also could even create a club or even join a club. So there are lots of clubs at school, but then there also might be clubs that you form. Maybe your friends want to do this, and then you guys all create like a reading club, which would be amazing. Um, but yeah, so that's where people can say, hey, are you achieving your goals? And once you are, we should celebrate once you achieve that goal. It gets, it gets all of us more excited. So the other thing is you want to make sure you're sharing your progress with them. So if you have accountability partners or family members, clubs, people who are helping you, um, then you, it, it also lets you share the good news, which I think creates more motivation as well. So goals also can change. So while you're continuing to read, you might say, oh, I've been reading so quickly, you might even increase your goal. Or you might be taking really big books, chapter books that take longer. So then you might say, you know what, 40 is not realistic for a year. Maybe I'm going to do 30, but they're meaningful books. So just be prepared that goals can change, right? So sometimes we think we want something and then as time goes on, we realize that we actually want something else. And that's okay, goals can change, that happens. So again, here's my example for my kiddos. So if you want to become a stronger reader, okay, and say you say, okay, in one year, I want to read 40 books in one year, right? So that was your goal. So then according to how we do this, that was our big thinking. Step two, remember, is to break it into smaller, smaller levels and smaller steps. So I'm going to start with just five books by spring break. Okay? And then once you achieve the five books by spring break, you check it. You can create a log, um, just take a piece of paper and literally write down the name of the book, the title, and then create, um, and then put a check that you completed it. So somehow making sure that you're breaking into smaller steps. And then you want to make sure that you have accountability and you're sharing it with somebody. So I'm gonna say share progress. So in this case, it might be mom um, or dad. And so share progress with family member. Again, this is just an example. And then once you achieve your goal, I'm going to just say celebrate success. So once you achieve this, you want to celebrate it that, hey, I read all my books. Let's get something. Let's reward. And maybe it wasn't the 40. Maybe it was the first five, then the, then the 10. So again, breaking it down and celebrating it. So that's what I recommend in order for us to achieve our goals this year. Wishing everyone the best of luck. Um, and for all my kiddos who are going to ask Miss Ellie, what's your goal for this year? It really is. I have it behind me. I want to spread the message of my loving world, first in Illinois, then New York, and then all over our nation. So that is my goal for 2019. Um, but I also have fitness goals and health goals and um, family goals and all of that. But this definitely is one of my priority goals, is to get my loving world all over. So that's our episode for today. Thanks for tuning in, and stay tuned for our next Kid Stuff episode with Teaching with Miss Sally. Bye, guys.